church, welcome home. Let's all arise to worship our God. Let's put our hands together.
Father, we lift all our rulers, the Prime Minister, the Mantri Basa, and all those in authority to you. Give them wisdom to lead the country, that it may prosper in every area. We praise you for the profuse favour, protection, good health and wisdom upon all our church and family members, giving us a special covering and shelter against all viruses and evil. We believe for running over increase in the businesses of our people. We also believe in the betterment of the country and that our children have a very good future. Thank you for anointing our lead Pastor Joshua and Pastor Kerry with the wisdom to lead this church. Bless and protect them and their family members. Thank you for blessing and anointing all our pastors, leaders and staff that they may flow with one heart and vision in our core values and culture. Empower us to experience signs and wonders in our everyday lives. We call in tithes and offering that your people may shine with great abundance and that we may leave an impact near and far. In Jesus' name, Amen. Amen. Church, let us lift our hands as we worship. Yeah. 
seated? Who is Jesus and who is the Holy Spirit? Head over to the highlights playlist on our YouTube channel to learn how to be filled with the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit will empower and lead you in your life and business. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to our service. And to those of you who are joining us online, welcome as well. We can't wait to see you at service soon. Okay, we have so many, so many upcoming events. One of it is our Ablaze. So if you are youth 15 to 18 or 20, uh, 19 to 25, this coming Saturday, we have the Ablaze Hawaiian Luau. It's happening at 4.30 p.m., 30th of July. So if you are youth 15 to 25, do sign up. It's going to be really fun. Okay, and also we have Energize Ice Cream Party this coming Sunday. So if you are a preteen or you have um, kids who are preteens, do ask them to join us. It's going to be really fun. And for those of you who enjoy hiking, for young adults and above, on the 6th of August at, 10, uh, at 7 a.m., we are going to go for a hike. So those of you who enjoy exercise or want to try hiking, you can join us for young adults and above. And also, young adults, we have another event for you on the 13th of August at 10 a.m. We have badminton at 10 a.m., okay, on the 13th of August. So if you're interested, later uh, you will see the, the QR code where you can scan and sign up, okay? Then also for Champs family, see so many events, right? <laughs> Champs family, uh, you're going to the fi uh, Champs family goes to the fire station. So we are going to have a fire station visit for kids ages 5 to 10, accompanied by their parents. So get them to sign up. That's on the 20th of August at 10 a.m. So Champs, do sign up with your teachers or through the link tree as well or with your zone pastor. Okay, all these events will be showing up. You can scan a QR code to sign up. Let's take a look at the, the events and testimonies. Hey Ablaze you! Join us for a fun time at our Ablaze Hawaiian Luau on the 30th of July at 4.30 p.m. Don't forget to sign up with your Zone Pastor. See you there! Hey Energize! Guess what? We're having an exclusive ice cream party! Yay! Do ask the parents to contact your Zone Pastor so they can register you. See you there! If you're 30, 40, 50, or 60, let's go hiking. Whether you like the great outdoors or would like to try a different form of exercise, come and join us on the 6th of August at 7 a.m. Sign up today. Hey, young adults, we're having badminton on the 13th of August at 10 a.m. Challenge your friends and sweat it out. Sign up at 153 or with our mobile host. Champs family, we're going to the fire station on the 20th of August for kids ages 5 to 10, accompanied by parents. Don't miss this fun family outing. Champs is back. Remember to book a seat for your children with your zone pastor. See you at Champs! Every church has a unique vision, trust of ministry and prophetic mandate. The seven churches in the book of Revelations each have unique messages and exhortations. The Kingdom series is a unique and tailor-made course by School of Vibrant Growth in RLC that crystallizes the unique vision, trust of ministry, and mandate given to RLC. It is biblical, Christ-centered, and practical, covering every area of life, work, and relationships. As you flow along with it, you will experience the commanded blessings in Psalms 133 as well as the blessings of the unique mandates. Sign up through the app or with your Zone Pastor now. Kingdom series starts 6 of July, Wednesdays at 8:30 p.m. Kingdom discovery, taking possession, kingdom relationship, kingdom shine, and for champs, suit up with his armor. New kingdom series, taking possession. See how God empowers us inside out to overcome the past and break cycles of pain and bitterness. Breathing issue back to normal through praise and worship. What interested me most in Kingdom Hypersurpassing Restoration was the topic on praise and worship. I've been indulging myself in worship and praise, especially in year 2020, and it has restored my health. 
I was struggling with acute fears and anxiety due to the pandemic and it resulted in having symptoms similar to COVID-19. Besides listening to songs of worship, I also claimed healing promises. The struggle was real, but it was truly amazing just how listening and immersing myself in worship songs could bring my breathing issue back to normal. I also learned much deeper how praise and worship could cause restoration and many other blessings. I truly love this topic as I experienced tremendous peace, a greater sense of intimacy with our Lord, divine direction and discernment, and a great way to rest in His love and grace with surety of hope and enthusiastic expectation of great things to come. Well, praise God. Welcome again. Those of you are watching online, we love you, we miss you, hope to see you soon. And of course, we are excited about all the events, particularly the High King. So don't worry, the High King will go on different age group, different trails, so that <laughs> the senior citizen will not be too stressed. Okay, and of course, uh, <laughs> looking forward to the fire engine. I'm really like to go there. Limited space, uh, going to be accompanied by parents to, to sign up early to avoid disappointment. So remember, at the unrest, there's a QR code where you can give us the impression card. That's a way to help your church improve the services to you. At the same time, give us a feedback on the, perhaps you need prayer, something happened during the service that you received Christ, or you need to know more about Jesus Christ. And of course, you are a host, you get a voucher as your newcomers also a voucher for a couple of visits, a valid for one month, both in 153 as well as the Dream Center. Okay, the Sunday man now is in 2 Chronicle 31. When the people of Israel heard this requirement, what the requirement to give your tithes and offering? How must know is a command from God. And they responded generously by bringing the first share of their grain their new wine and all the produce of the field. And they brought a large quantity, notice, a large quantity of tithes of all that they produced. The people brought in the tithes of their cattle, the sheep, the goats, and the tithe, the thing that has been dedicated to the Lord, in other words, whatever they have uh, desired to give. And they piled them up with great herbs. How wonderful it is, huh? We would come together and they pile those gifts, tithes, and offering with a great herb. And what happened was 21, that is the key. The blessing. And in all this that he did, he took about the king, and particularly King Hezekiah. For the service of the temple of God, Hezekiah sought his God wholeheartedly. You know, we, we sought God in different areas of our life. Have you ever thought of seeking God in your tithes and offering to fulfill the commandment that God has given to you? To go beyond what uh, you're able in the natural, in faith. And Hezekiah sought his God wholeheartedly and what happened? As a result, he was very successful. Not just normal success, God wants you to be very successful. Let's pray. Father, thank you for giving us a promise that you want us to be very successful. And Lord, help us to really seek you in our tithes and offering, and don't take it lightly, because it's a mandate from you. Lord, they're bringing heaps in great quantities, so that in everything that we do, we experience that great success, that good success you have for each and every one of us. And other people say, Amen. You get to give. If you'd like to tithe or give an offering, you may drop your offering into the offering boxes on the way out after service. You may also do an online transfer to our banks listed here. Alternatively, you can also make transfers by scanning this QR code on your armrest or on the screen. We will acknowledge receipt with a special Rama Bible text from Pastor. If you're passing offering to our office, do text our finance team. Fractured wrists healed beyond expectations. I would like to thank Pastor Joshua and Pastor Kerry. We are overwhelmed by God's goodness and love. I decided to write a testimony to encourage our RLC family not to give up in times of hardship. My son fell and fractured his wrist. The doctor said that he had tried his best to angle it back so that when it grows back, it will be straight, but it won't be 100%. After two weeks, we went for a checkup. The x-ray didn't show much improvement and the doctor said he had done his best. I couldn't accept his statement, this is the best already. I felt my faith rise deep in my spirit. So we prayed and took Holy Communion every day to proclaim healing according to the Word of God. After four weeks, the cast is off and the x-ray showed tremendous results beyond my expectations. 
new bones form around the old ones and it was healing well. Indeed, God is at work when we are at rest and in His presence. He performed a greater miracle when the situation was at its worldly best. I'm thankful for doctors, but Jesus is the greatest healer. Hallelujah. Pastor Joshua, Pastor Kerry and Pastor Edwin have been praying since the day of the accident and each time we bump into them in church, they would pray for my son. Thank you, pastors. Also, a thumbs up to all his teachers in Sunday school for praying for him. It was a great encouragement that his teachers messaged me to ask how he was during his checkup. Thanks for all the love and grace shown towards my family. We are filled up with God's goodness and we are thrilled to witness God's miracle healing in our son. How many of you are ready for the Word of God? Let's go straight in. huh? Be before that, we pray. Father, thank you for this beautiful morning in the name of Jesus Christ, rebuke and vine. Every file we can give spirit, can we go from here right now in Jesus' name that your word may have free course. In the midst of us, an other people scream. Okay, we continue our study and exhaust whatever revelation truth that can glean out of Psalm 33. And last week, we go through one phrase. You prepare a table before me in the presence of the enemy. In other words, we can expect great, great feast, even in the midst of adverse situations. God doesn't even wait until every <laughs> of the obstacles are removed, all your enemies are gone. In fact, God can remove your enemy just like that. It's no sweat for God. The, the 50 guy came to take a, Elijah, Elijah just said, here I am, the prophet Elijah. Boom, 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 every one of them <laughs> got finished. <laughs> God kind of just removed them. But God wants to perform a greater miracle. While your enemy are still talking, while your enemy are doing their best, their adversities are still there, God says, I will promote them in the eyes. That's a greater miracle. The thing is, we've got to watch our heart. Don't allow all the setbacks, all the <laughs> anger to poison our spirit. They're not able to enjoy all that God has for us. Now watch your mouth. <laughs> uh, because Jesus said, don't talk about the mountain. Speak to the mountain. People talk too much about their mountain. They grumble, they murmur. And uh, the Bible says that Jesus said, he shall have whatever he says. So, man, uh, that's why uh, we say that um, you can't have a positive life when you have negative words to cover up you. You can't speak defeat and expect miracles. Okay, we continue, uh, Psalm 23, verse 5. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My the, cup runs over. Sorry. The sheep has a lot of enemies. <laughs> the big bears and lions, and also a lot of small enemies, the insects, the flies that goes inside the nostril, the nose, and the ear. And then what happened? They lay their eggs, and then the worm hatches, man, it tortures the little lamb or sheep, and it's so tormenting times in which they've hit their nose against the hard rock. And what the shepherd does, the shepherd, to prevent others, or the heal, whatever condition, the shepherd will anoint the head with oil, and with a mixture of oil and sulfur, and that's where they dispel the insects and heal uh, bring about healing. And we all face things in life, um, things that really torment us, maybe overwhelming situation. And um, I have this word for you. Man, when you feel you're overwhelmed, when you feel that you're tormented by your work, by relationship, <coughs> health issue, man, you just become a candidate for God to pour forth your anointing. So today we're going to talk about the anointing. The three types of anointing, I'm going to share them. I'm sure going to be more, much more. I just want to highlight three anointing that God wants you to have. Number one, he anoints you with honor. You know, in ancient custom, you have a traveler that come, and uh, the host will honor the guest by anointing him with oil. And that also with fragrance. And that is a key way to uh, honor them and at the same time refresh them. From their journey, those days they don't have those uh, air-conditioned vehicles. You had to walk or go on the uh, camel or the donkey in the pathway, dirt. Man, 
No, when you go through valleys, inevitably, we're going to get dirt. And Hammer must know the anointing will deal with that. Look at verse 4, 23. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. So, in the valleys, and we accumulate dirt. And, uh, and uh, why are we in the valleys? All the reasons, there are many. <laughs> um, one key reason is because we, we are passing through the dark valley, like especially the summertime, where the land is very dry and there's not much of a food. And so the, the shepherd would take the sheep to the tableland, high plateau with a rich grassland to feed on. So sometimes valleys are inevitable in life. God doesn't remove all the mountains. God said, climb the mountains. But sometimes, some valleys is because we walk into it. It says here, um, you notice a very subtle change of personal pronoun, whereby the Lord is my shepherd. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He restores my soul, and he leads me in path of righteousness. He, 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 he. But it's a subtle change. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. In other words, he himself got wander into that deep valley. But you notice, even though we are the one, the culprit, we make a dumb decision, stupid decision, and ourselves in dirt in the valley, even though I walk through uh, the dark valley, you are with me. In other words, even if you make a dumb choice, a stupid choice, God says, I will not leave you, I will not forsake you, I will be with you. He's the light of the world, not to expose all the bad things you've ever done. He's there to lead you the way out. So that uh, is the key. And uh, of course, when we make a dumb, stupid decision, all right, we've got to learn from it. We've got to um, don't repeat the same mistakes, but don't fill yourself with all kinds of guilt and condemnation. Because, you see, condemnation kills. And... Um, you don't always feel with regrets. If only I don't do this, if I didn't do that, if only I didn't say this and didn't say that. Keep on having all kinds of regrets. You'll find that you've been living in the past. God says, do not be filled with condemnation because look at Isaiah 61. Instead of your shame, you shall have double honor. Learn what we can, learn whatever we can, don't repeat the same mistake. But remember, God says, instead of your shame, you shall have double honor. God wants to annoy you, even in your dirt, even to make a wrong choice, even though I walk through, even to make a dumb choice. God says, He's going to give you honor. He says, uh, instead of shame, you're going to have double honor. The word shame, if you look at the dictionary, it means a painful feeling arising uh, from the consciousness of this honorable. How many of you that you have done some dishonorable thing? Improper things done. Man, uh, many people carrying a heavy load in their life. They're weighed down with dirt and shame. They felt they're going to be condemned forever. They feel ashamed of them. But how much does God say, he's going to anoint you with the anointing of honor. Instead of uh, shame, you're going to have not just normal honor, you're going to have double honor. And the reason why he gives us a double honor is Psalm 65 verse 11. You crown the year. With bountiful harvest, even the hard pathway overflow with abundance. Even the tough road, a road that you uh, got yourself into because of that choice, God say the hard pathway will overflow with abundance. The word abundance in the Hebrew, very interesting. The, the, the literal uh, meaning of that Hebrew word, desan, is actually fattiness, fat, oil, and uh, specifically, it refers to the fatty ashes of the burnt sacrifice. When it, uh, uh, people coming to God to worship in the temple, they cannot those day, oh, go inside the temple, even the outer court. If the priest inside the outer court, they sacrifice the lamb. But they can uh, peep inside through the door. The only thing he could see is the remains of the burnt sacrifice. And these are the ashes. And uh, these are the fatty ashes of the burnt sacrifice. It is the product of the sacrifice. And how many of us know God doesn't want you to 
keep on looking at all the bad choices, the dumb choices, all the shame. God wants you to look at what he has done for us. He is giving us that double honor. He came to do exactly that, 2 Corinthians 5, 21. For our sake, he made him sin who knew no sin, so that in him we might become the righteousness of God. Christ was made to be sin. Did Christ commit any sin? No, but he took our penalty. He took our curse. And he says that we might become the righteousness of God. Did we do righteousness? No. Uh, we, in fact, do the, all the bad choices, ugly things. But how many us, though, God say, he uh, become the righteousness of God. So it's important for us, uh, don't focus on the past and the shame, learn whatever we can, don't repeat it, but uh, focus on what God has in store for each and every one. So don't go to your kid. Maybe they expose themselves, a young little boy or girl. Don't say, shame, 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 shame. You're, you're giving the picture that their body is dirty and they grow up, uh, don't have self-respect. Same way, you don't go to your teenager and say, you spoiled my family name. The action you did. What happened is that he got to grow up disorientated. And what happened is that he got to associate his worth with what he does. But how many us know our worth has nothing to do with what we do. Our worth has to do with we are in Christ. We have his righteousness. So he anointed us with the oil of honor. All right. And... Uh, Next, he anoints us with joy. Studies have shown that the average child laughs 150 times a day, but the adult, they only laugh three times a day. What happened is that we lost our laughter. And sometimes we lost our laughter because we're going through things and situations in our life that really wear us down. Could be the traffic condition, could be the people that have been rude to us, or maybe the plan didn't work according to what we desire. And so we're overwhelmed. And many people make the mistakes of going through life sour because of the overwhelming, distressing, disappointing situation. They become moody. They become angry. They're like, <laughs> uh, what we call landmine. You never know. It's that boom, bah, explosion. And they're moody. And at the end of the day, humble must know you're only going to hurt yourself. Job 18. You are only hurting yourself with your anger. Maybe someone, <laughs> you're about to park your car, somebody just cut in. Man, very rude, took over your parking, show you <laughs> the finger. <laughs> you got upset, angry. For five hours, the whole time in the mall, you're going to enjoy food with your kid. And uh, you just, humble must hurt yourself more. Hey, Look at it. That guy, you say, oh, he's a joker. Okay, that joker took away your parking. Since he has taken away your parking, don't let him take away your joy. Because the Bible says the joy of the Lord is our strength. Look at um, Nehemiah 8. Go and enjoy choice food and sweet drinks and send some to those who have nothing prepared. This is sacred to our Lord. Do not grieve. For the joy of the Lord is your strength. Hallelujah. When they came back from the exile, many of them were disappointed because they make comparison. One of the key ways we get the strength is because we make comparison. So they compare the Solomon's temple and their present temple. And they got very stressed and very, very um, felt filled with guilt and condemnation because, because of our sin. We got ourselves in exile. And uh, Nehemiah said, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> it's a day of celebration. Go and eat, enjoy rich food, sweet drinks, because the joy of the Lord is our strength. And uh, Isaiah 61 says, to, to, to console those who mourn, to give them beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. The oil of joy for mourning, the garment of praise for the uh, spirit of heaviness. How many of you today are feeling some kind of heaviness? What is that? Could be that you are dreadful of even getting out of bed. Uh, dreadful of facing another day. Dreadful of even driving to work. Dreadful of dealing with these tough guys in the office, or tough colleagues, or difficult people, perhaps even among your family members. You are dreadful of living another day. And uh, for me, <laughs> I'm always very dreadful of 
got to write another message. Got to be fresh, got to be new with new revelation. Man, the more we think about, the, the task is overwhelming, the more we're going to feel that heaviness, the more we're going to feel weary, the more the strength is uh, going to be drained. Now, I'm not making light of your problems or difficulties. All right? But the point is that humble must know those problems that you're facing is simply no match to God. And God is well able to deal with the situation. And uh, Hamra must know, hey, he wants to anoint you with that oil. And uh, no matter how big your problem uh, could be, there's no match for God. Just like mountain. When you look at the mountain, the Himalayas, you look at in the, in the, you will see it's so huge, so big. But if you get it from the outer space, it's just a tiny little speck. The key thing is to receive that oil of joy. How do we receive the oil of joy? Psalm 8, 2 says, From the mouths of children and nursing babies, you have ordained praise on account of your adversaries, so that you might put an end to the vindictive enemy. From the mouth of children and nursing babies, you have ordained praise. The word praise in the Hebrew, very interesting, it means strength. <laughs> so some translations say, uh, from the mouth of... Uh, infant, you ordain strength. And Hamra must know, the point is that when you begin to praise, you're going to see strength, that oil of joy, you're going to bring you that strength. Maybe you receive a medical report, the doctor give you a report, and you're discouraged and did everything, you eat all the organic stuff, but why am I getting this? Praise. Lord, I thank you that I shall not die, but live to declare the work of God. And uh, keep on declaring, praising God. Lord, with long life, you will satisfy me and show me Yahshua, all right? Maybe the kids have gone astray. Praise God. Lord, I thank you. They are going to be mighty in the land. Maybe your spouse is not acting right. Praise you, O oh God, that my wife shall be a fruitful wine. And uh, what is wine? A picture of joy. And she's going to bring me joy. Or maybe your husband is not acting right. Lord, I thank you, my husband. I'm going to be sitting at the gates. What do they do those days, sitting at the gates? Making the right decision, working very hard. Maybe if you, your husband is not really working hard. No, thank God and praise you, O oh Lord, that my, my husband is going to be sitting at the city gates, working hard and making the right choices. And uh, maybe if you, your job is just beyond you, just overwhelmed. See, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Watch this. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Every word of God proves true. He is a shield to all who come to Him for protection. If any of you lacks wisdom, you should ask God, who gives generously to all without finding fault. And it will be given to you. When you praise God with the prophetic promises, Hamra must know you are being prophetic. And uh, in fact, Romans 4, 17 says, God, who gives life to the dead and calls those things which do not exist as though they did, his faith did not leave him, and he did not doubt God's promise. His faith filled him with power, and he gave praise to God. Wow, Hamra must know that you, as soon as you speak prophetic word with praise, We've been talking about declaring the prophetic word. More than that, beyond speaking and declaring the prophetic word, give thanks. All right, instead of saying, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me, say, I thank you, O God. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Thank you, O God, that I'm an able minister of the new covenant. Start to praise. And when you begin to praise, you're calling those, you're becoming <laughs> prophetic. You're calling those things they were not as though they were. And you will see, Amazing creative power, all right? But, Pastor, I look at the situation around about me, it's just the same. <laughs> well, the beautiful truth is that you don't have to solve all your problems uh, before you are happy and be filled with joy. See, many people today are drained of all their strength because they want to solve their problem <laughs> tomorrow. The, the truth is that their problem, especially relationship problem, even other challenges, work, problem didn't emerge yesterday accumulated perhaps the last 20 years and it's not going to be solved within a day even Nehemiah that supersonic guy 
Yeah, uh, it was supernatural acceleration. He took how many days to finish? 52 days. It's not just one day, whatever, perhaps uh, uh, illness or whatever. You don't, uh, of course, we believe in supernatural healing, but how many of us know you don't have uh, to solve all your problems before you are happy? The key thing is uh, Philippians chapter 4, verse 4 says, Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I will say, rejoice. Now, this is amazing. When Paul was writing this letter to the uh, Philippians, he was not having a holiday in the Swiss Alps or uh, in the Hawaii, uh, drinking coconut juice, all right? Bathing in the sun. No, no, he was actually in prison, chained to the son of the most rugged guards in the Roman Empire, 24 hours a day, four shifts, Every, uh, every uh, four hours, one shift. Can you just imagine? <laughs> You're not going to have any rest. Uh, but in the two years that he was in prison in Rome, he managed to reach out to 4,000 soldiers. These are no ordinary soldiers. These are the elite guards of the world empire. And very often, this imperial guard is going to be the key bodyguards of the emperor. And man, <laughs> even though he was chained, a chain reaction, a nuclear reaction took place. And the seed that he planted, that Philippians says that even some of the Caesar's uh, household were saved. This is where the seed was planted eventually. Um, Constantinople turned the, uh, uh, the empire downside up and become a, a Christian empire. Humber though, uh, that is amazing, all right? And... Uh, that's the reason why Paul said, I'm glad. So you don't have to wait until your circumstances are perfect before you praise. The next thing, he anoints you with to be a blessing. Now, sometimes in life you think, oh, I'm just a professional. I'm just a homemaker. I'm, a bus I'm just a businessman. Oh, I'm, I'm just an uh, engineer. I'm just a teacher. No, no, no. You're a child of the Most High God. And you have unique gifting. You have uh, unique talent that God has placed on the inside of you. And if you don't use those talents to be a blessing, the world is not going to be shining as bright as can be. That's why Jesus Christ says, city on the hill cannot be hidden and shouldn't be hidden. And the key thing for us is to uh, be ready to be anointed. God wants to anoint you more than just giving you double honor in place of shame, more than just giving me the oil of joy in the midst of all the adverse situations. He wants to anoint you to be a blessing, to leave an impact. In the Matthew chapter 8, there was a story, an episode. Of Jesus was in the city of Cabernet. And a centurion, a very high-ranking Roman soldier, came to him and said, uh, bleeding and praying to Jesus. Jesus, one of my servants is paralyzed and he was uh, tormented. Come and heal. Let's see what Jesus said, verse 7. And Jesus said to him, I will come and heal him. The centurion answered and said, Lord, I am not worthy that you should come under my roof, but only speak a word and my servant will be healed. When Jesus heard it, he marveled and said to those who followed, Assuredly, I say to you, I have not found such great faith, not even in Israel. Notice uh, that centurion came to Jesus and prayed. And how many of the people that you are connected with, maybe your servant, maybe your colleague, maybe your boss, are not connected with you by accident. They are there by divine appointment. You can make a difference. You can be a blessing to them even as you reach out to them. And amazingly, to cut the story short, uh, the man was totally healed. Now the question is, he was healed on the basis of whose faith? The centurion's faith. The guy is struggling, tormented, paralyzed, probably grumbling, angry with God. He doesn't have the faith. There are people that they come across your path. You look at them, they may look, man, they're like, ooh. Uh, but, Humble so they don't have the faith. But you can supply that faith. They're going to make a difference in a person's life. 
And the centurion prayed to Jesus and asked God uh, for healing. And, uh, you know, it is good to pray for yourself, all right? Give us this day our daily bread. And it's good to pray for your own particular need. But go beyond that. Pray for the need for others. And uh, the point is that when you pray for others, you are not going to be critical. And the reason why sometimes we are so critical, we always command, pass command, this person, that brother, and we command is perhaps we didn't pray. Because when you pray, you got to reach out and release grace. Galatians 6 verse 1. Brethren, if a man is overtaken in any trespass, you who are spiritual, restore such a one in a spirit of gentleness, considering yourself, lest you also be tempted. Bear no. one sorry. Bear one another's burdens and so fulfill the law of Christ. Like you can see when the centurion prayed for the servant, they're struggling to learn the faith. There are people like that. All right, that they're, uh, they're in bondage, they are in the sin. And the key thing for us is to pray. Humble remember though, when you begin to pray, no matter how heavy the bondage, man, you're going to see amazing breakthrough. Isaiah chapter 10, verse 27, the amazing passage where you look at the context, the people were very discouraged. The people were very disheartened. They were still struggling, struggling with the same sin their forefathers uh, have committed that eventually caused the exile. And now they're in the exile, they are struggling with the same bondage and the sin. It looks like they will never be able to come out of the exile. They were never able to break free of that bondage. You know, Isaiah came and encouraged the people, yes, in the nature it cannot be broken, but Isaiah 10 said that this uh, bondage is going to be broken. Let's look at the passage, 27. And it shall be in that day, his burden shall turn away from on your shoulder, and his yoke from your neck. And the yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing. And the people run about us, they're facing all kinds of, uh, perhaps, uh, Addiction that they, they struggle with. Addiction perhaps to pornography, addiction to drug, addiction to a particular habit, all kind of addiction. It looks like in the natural. Pastor, look at them. That person will never change. But how many must do as you begin to pray, as you allow God to anoint you, not just with honor, not just with all of joy, take care of your uh, dreadfulness, the, the heaviness, but anoint you to be a blessing, to release faith, to release uh, grace. Man, you're going to see that bondage is going to be broken. I heard a story of a young child, just six years old. He was from Puerto Rico. Um, the family migrated to New York, followed the American dream. And they were living in the streets of New York, when uh, at age 12, he was being recruited to join gangs. And uh, robbery, killing, stealing, it's just part and parcel of life. And when the mother came to know about it, I, I saw the uh, kind of a short movie on that just yesterday, and uh, he, she was completely heartbroken, but she never gave up. She goes to a small little Spanish church every day, twice to pray for his son. But the more she prayed, the worse that child become. Finally, the teacher came to her and said, man, the way it is going, your child is going to be executed in the electric chair. But she allows those negative words, and be careful all the negative words, and she al allowed the negative words to go in one year, and out the other year. The more the stressful situation, the more bold her prayer became. She not only prayed, oh God, please take him out of trouble. She prayed, oh God, make him a minister of God. Make him a pastor that is going to impact life. Today, Victor Torres is a pastor of a huge church in Virginia and ministering to tens of thousands of kids like them. He was born to Christ by uh, the uh, mentor of, of Irvin Rutherford, David Wilkerson. 
the mother allowed herself to be used by God to pray for the son. And David Wilkerson allowed himself to be used of God to travel thousands of miles from Texas all the way to the streets of New York to minister to kids like Victor Torrance. And because what they did impacted life and transformed and changed life. How many of us know you can make a difference? Would you allow yourself not to cast yourself always looking at the past? Poor me, I'm ashamed of myself, I regret, and cut away all those regrets. You can't go back in time, undo what you did. You can't go back in time, undo what you said. Receive. Place of shame, his double honor. They're going to give you that strength that brings you the oil of joy in the midst of all the heaviness, distresses, and you're going to be anointed to make a big impact for eternity. Let's pray. Father, we want to thank you for today. We thank you for the word you've given to us. Lord, know that you're going to take us out of the valley to give us a great feast. You want to anoint us with honor in place of shame. You're going to anoint us with the power of joy amidst all the pressure. Because as we begin to be filled with that joy, they could have strengthened us. We need to praise you with all the prophetic promises. Lord, they're going to release a creative power in our life. Thank you. You anoint us to be a blessing. Be here, not accident, the gifting that we have. Lord, that we can leave an impact even as we pray and reach out, release faith and grace. In Jesus' most precious name. Amen. Shall we all stand? The Lord Jesus Christ said, Take and eat. This is my body broken to you. This cup is a new covenant in my blood. Pour out for you for the forgiveness of all your sins. I sing this beautiful, beautiful hymn.
invite also the Sadie's prayer to get up with me. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, you so love us. You sent Jesus Christ to die for me on the cross. I receive you to be my Savior, Lord, and friend. Thank you that I'm completely forgiven in place of shame. Right now, I have double honor. I have the oil of joy for mourning, for the spirit of heaviness. Thank you, you have anointed me with purpose. I'm going to use all my talent, all my gifting, to leave an impact, to release grace, to release faith to the world that are struggling. In Jesus' name, and other people say, Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Lift up your hand, supernatural restoration of relationship. Receive that special anointing, spirit of wisdom, discernment, even right now, to be able to minister. Receive that gift of miracle, even as you go and reach out to pray for others. Receive the healing anointing as you call people that are stricken, all kind of condition, with a doctor. Try their best. Release that anointing to pray. Let a centurion that release that faith. They're going to cause the person to rise up to see breakthrough. Receive that supernatural healing even right now. Shalom <speaking in Hebrew> Great, 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 great promotion. Great, great promotion. Supernatural supply. God doesn't have to wait for your boss to be generous before he supply. He said he will supply you supernaturally. That your housing situation will be dealt with in Jesus' name. Prostrate condition made whole in the mighty name of Jesus. Backbone, back condition be healed. Let those slip this be renewed even right now. Creative miracle being released. Migraine condition made whole in Jesus' name. The Lord say, I have not forget, I have not forget what I have promised you. I have not forget. And the Lord says that surely I'm going to do it. I'm going to speed up everything for you. Yes, it's time for me to raise up, to raise up Joseph generation. Yes, it's time for me to raise up Daniel generation to have great, great, great impact. I'm going to raise up many Daniel generations. Oh, <coughs> That you have, you will be in a great impact. You will be in a great position, great impact in Jesus' name. Oh, and I'm raising up also Joshua generation to take possession, to take possession. Oh, and I'm going to restore impossible situation. I'm going to restore impossible situation. Therefore, the Lord says, do not speak 
what devil speak. Do not repeat the words of devil. But the Lord said, proclaim his word. Speak out his word. As you speak out his word, you will see that you are able to possess the land. My grain be gone in Jesus' name. Gastric answer be healed right now in Jesus' name. Amen. Sing this beautiful prayer. Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord calls His face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord smile on you, release you His favor, and give you His shalom, peace in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you and see you in the Dream Center and the One Five Three. Thanks for King the Lord. Kingdom series starts 6 of July, Wednesdays at 8:30 p.m. Kingdom discovery, taking possession, kingdom relationship, kingdom shine, and for champs, suit up with. Head over to our Renewal Lutheran Church app or scan this QR code to join one. You get to give. If you like to tie the give and offering, you may drop your offering into the offering boxes on the way out after service. You may also do an online transfer to our banks listed here. Alternatively, you can also make transfers by scanning this QR code on your armrest or on the screen. We will acknowledge receipt with a special Rama Bible text from Pastor. If you are passing offering to our office, do text our finance team. Learn to seek Him and be joyful in every situation. Kingdom Core Values has taught me to be calm, warm and welcoming and have good relations with people. I also learn about thriving as a team being united in vision, and to follow the leader's decision to get things done in an organized way. When I come across a tense situation, I will seek the Lord and pray in the Holy Spirit and let the Holy Spirit take charge and guide me through instead of worrying about the problem. During this prolonged pandemic period, my family and I can still be joyful and cast our worries to Him despite the situation. In fact, by being joyful, it makes us strong as well as boosts our immune system. Praise the Lord. Amen. If you have any prayer requests, you can contact this number or scan this QR code to send in your request. Hey Ablaze you! Join us for a fun time at our Ablaze Hawaiian Luau on the 30th of July at 4.30pm. Don't forget to sign up with your Zone Pastor. See you there! Guys, guess what? We're having an exclusive ice cream party. Yay! You ask the parents to contact the zone pastor so they can register you. See you there! If you're 30, 40, 50 or 60, let's go hiking. Whether you like the great outdoors or would like to try a different form of exercise, come and join us on the 6th of August at 7am. Sign up today. Hey young adults, we are having badminton on the 13th of August at 10am. Challenge your friends and sweat it out. Sign up at 153 or with our mobile host.
Champs Family. We are going to the fire station on the 20th of August for kids ages 5 to 10, accompanied by parents. Don't miss this fun family outing. Champs is back. Remember to book a seat for your children with your zone pastor. See you at Champs. Every church has a unique vision, trust of ministry, and prophetic mandate. The seven churches in the book of Revelations each have unique messages and exhortations. The Kingdom series is a unique and tailor-made course by School of Vibrant Growth in RLC that crystallizes the unique vision, trust of ministry, and mandate given to RLC. It is biblical, Christ-centered, and practical, covering every area of life, work, and relationships. As you flow along with it, you will experience the commanded blessings in Psalms 133 as well as the blessings of the unique mandates. Fountain Head Church, watering the dry valley of Arcasias as in 2 Kings 3 verse 17. Empowering entrepreneurs through fervent prayers of our intercessors, zone pastors and lead pastors. Centre of Davidic worship that is Christ and grace-centred. Miracle healing place. Supernatural restorations. Youth Revival impacting the next generation and World Impact in Nation Partnership. Psalms 92 verse 13 Planted in the house of the Lord, they will flourish in the courts of our God. Sign up through the app or with your zone faster now. Kingdom Series starts 6th of July, Wednesdays at 8.30pm. Kingdom Discovery, Taking Possession, Kingdom Relationship, Kingdom Shine, and for champs, suit up with His Armour. New Kingdom series, Taking Possession. See how God empowers us inside out to overcome the past and break cycles of pain and bitterness. We have refreshing Zoom prayer on Thursdays at 9pm. Join us and be refreshed through prayer. Get prayed for by pastor and we'll also be praying for your loved ones. Here's what's happening this week. Care Groups and Intercessors Prayer Online. Catch our Rama Holy Communion on Tuesdays, Thursdays and Saturdays at 10am. The links are available in the description box below. We also have other services for different age groups such as Ablaze. As long as our eyes are fixated on God, hey, we are on the right path. Your shepherd is always there. Birds in the sky, creatures in the sea, and of course, us. He is our provider. Memorize the 30 short verses. Get your parents to record either your voice or a video of you reciting 5 random verses. Then, send your audio or video to your zone pastor. You'll be given a beautiful certificate after completing only 30 short verses. Isaiah 53 verse 5 By the stripes of Jesus, I am healed. Follow us on Instagram at Oasis of Care, Blaze underscore RLC, and Fresh Manor underscore Oasis of Care to get a fresh intake of the very word that speaks life and healing to our body and soul every day. Rama of the Month, hearing his voice to your best destiny. Life is a series of choices we make that determine our success. Your choice will determine your success, but it's never too late to get back on track. The key is to listen and discern your shepherd's voice. He will guide you to the right path. Sevenfold restoration of what is lost with our Father. The shepherd restores your soul, healing your thinking and feelings, so that you may prosper in every area of your life.